Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I am Miss Lovely back with another video. And if you are new to the channel, then hey girl, hey, what's up? What's goody, baby? And if you are an oldie but a goodie, hashtag in the comments. Not now, but right now. Right now, oldie but a goodie. And you guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the highly suggested video, how to start a YouTube channel. Now, I've got several requests on my tips on how to start a YouTube channel. So if that is something that you're interested in, in hearing how I feel that you can start a YouTube channel or hearing some tips and tricks and things along the way that might help you start your YouTube channel, then keep on watching all right guys so before we begin let me go ahead and tell you this is probably going to be a lengthy video so get you some pen get you a notebook or some paper get you a cool pop Get you some popcorn and take notes. Get you a few snacks, honey, because I'm about to drop these gems. I'm about to drop a whole lot of, whole lot of knowledge to you guys. And this is very, very important information that I'm going to share with you guys on things that I've endured, things I've had to overcome, things that I've learned through my whole YouTube tenure. I won't say that I'm not, I'm not considered to be a big YouTuber, however... I am a YouTuber and I can definitely share my knowledge, share what I've learned, share what I've experienced through my tenure of being here on YouTube. So, so the first tip I want to say to you guys is the number one thing to do here is do not start a YouTube channel thinking you're going to make money. Do not do it for the money. Okay. If you get on here thinking that you're going to be able to just do like, get on here and make one video and that's it, then honey, I'm sadly mistaken. You're sadly mistaken. It's not going to work. Okay. Now, there are some people who have been able to make just a few videos and they've had other people kind of pave the, pave the way for them and to put them on, which kind of helped them get a jump start. But if you don't have anybody out here in these YouTube streets to kind of really put you on like that and you're just starting from scratch and you don't have anybody, then, you know what I'm saying, don't get on here thinking that you're going to make a bunch of money because it ain't going to happen, Captain. Okay, so that's the number one thing. Remember, do not get on YouTube starting a YouTube channel with the mentality thinking you're going to make money right away. However, you will, you will make money and it can change your life however it does take work it takes time and it takes consistency and it takes you having some tough thick skin okay so that's tip number right, one so the next tip i want to share with you guys is if you're able to if you have a google account and um you're able to comment on anybody's video on youtube then you really basically have a youtube channel if you're thinking about doing YouTube, then you definitely want to think about what type of content that you want to bring. If you want to do vlogs, if you want to do cooking, if you want to do shopping, if you want to do hauls, if you want to do gaming. You know, YouTube is such a wide range of everything. And of course, you know, YouTube is owned by Google. Um, I personally don't have a niche per se because I am my own personal brand. I kind of do a little bit of everything and... I choose to do it that way because I don't want to be stuck in the box of saying I only cook, I only do hair videos, I only do makeup, I only do shopping because I am, I am Marla, Marla as you can see. I have a lot to offer, so therefore you get a little bit of everything on my so channel. So therefore I'm not necessarily a niche what, channel. Once you decide on what it is that you really want to do here on YouTube, 
I would uh, suggest that you become you kind of be consistent with your scheduling so try to create a schedule that works for you and your lifestyle and what you got going on I know some of you um, some of us are you are in school some of us work full-time jobs some of us are full-time moms some of us have other things just depending on your type of lifestyle you always want to kind of hold yourself accountable and set yourself a schedule. So if you and if you're brand new and you don't have a YouTube channel and you're just on the start on the ground running, I would suggest that you make anywhere from three to four videos per week. And the reason why I say that because no one knows who you are. No one knows that you exist as far as the YouTube world is concerned. Yeah, now we're not talking about real life, we're talking about YouTube world, okay? So therefore, the more content you put out, the more chances and the better chances you'll be to where people will actually find you. Now, I look at YouTube as a business or as a seed. Uh, when you plant a seed, you can't just plant a seed and expect it to grow. You have to tend to your seed, you have to water your seed, you have to tend to it. You got to pull the weeds out, okay? So looking at YouTube, your YouTube channel is the same way. If you're only putting out content once a week, starting out, then you can't really get nothing. You can't really expect to get anything in return, if that makes sense. Now, if, you're, if, you, if you've already become very well established on YouTube, and people know who you are in these YouTube streets, then yeah, you can do a video once a week and, and that be and that be that. But starting out ground running with no no subscribers or no followers, you know, you want to be very um you want to put out as much content as you can and just do that on a schedule. So if you um, think it's feasible for you to do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, then stick to that schedule and be consistent with that schedule. So therefore, your audience will know exactly what to expect, when to expect you your uploads, okay? So another thing is consistency. I know you hear a lot of other people say all the time, consistency is key, but that is the truth. Nothing comes without being consistent. You have to be consistent. If you want to post every day at a certain time, then post every day at a certain time. If you want to post every other day at a certain time, or every other day at no certain time, then that's you. But being consistent will definitely pay off because that will give your audience something to look forward to. Okay, and speaking of audience, I just want to let you guys know, lean in when I tell you this, your family and your friends are not going to be your number one supporters, okay? Hating to, to put it like this, but it's the truth. Um, you can't expect everybody that knows you in real life to support you at first, um, and that's just how it goes, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Um, just keep in mind that they're not going to really support you at first, sis. So if you're expecting them to support you at first and to really watch all your videos, then baby, don't don't set yourself up you for that. Do, you do. I mean, you might have your mom because my mom was my number one supporter. She watched when nobody else was watching my videos. Or the kids, you know, or your sister, somebody. They, you know, your close relatives, sometimes they will. But most of the time, your family and friends won't support you until they see it's popular for them to support What I mean you. by that is once they see everybody else supporting you, once they see Tom, once they see Tom, Dick, and Harry supporting you, then they'll get on the ball and start wanting to support you. It is what it is. The truth is welcome over here. I'm keeping it real, real talk, no okay. chance. Though. It is what it is. All right, the next tip I wanna say to you is whenever you post your videos, and you get people that are starting to comment on your videos, make sure you acknowledge their comment. Even if you heart it and you comment later or you comment and you heart it, but try to interact with your audience. Because if you have a small following and I, you know, if you only have 10, 10 people that are subscribed to you and most of them are your mom, your grandma, your daddy, your uncle, and your brother and your sister, and if they're commenting, then of course you want to comment on them, comment on their comment and interact with them because they took the time to actually watch your video they took the time out to comment on your video so the least that you can do is comment you ain't got no it ain't nothing but 10 of them that's watching anyway so the 10 that's gonna watch and they and three of them comment comment on them three you know and, and it'll and now once you become 
very very well established here on YouTube, then it does kind of become kind of complex and kind of harder for you to to to, to uh, interact with everybody. But you know, if you pick a certain like I know B loves life. She says when she posts her videos at eight o'clock every morning for the first hour or two, she goes in and she acknowledges all her comments. You know what I'm saying? And after that, she's done for the day. So that's just what she does now, and that just work. That is just that is just what works for her. Um, but she does do that interaction. And however, she's a fairly large YouTuber. But you, as somebody that's just starting out, you want to definitely make sure you interact with your audience at all times. And another thing, speaking of audience, is listen to what your audience is telling you. If there, if you make a few videos, and if you if you haven't really decided on exactly what type of video or what your niche will be or what type of videos you want to put out there and you just kind of put out a little bit of everything once you become established your analytics will basically tell you what your audience is coming to you for okay so if your audience is telling you that they like your cooking 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 videos then that means you might need to do more cooking videos okay so your audience will basically tell you um, what they want to see from you if they enjoy your your shopping videos then your analytics will tell you that they're they're liking your shopping videos or whatever whatever it is your analytics will definitely tell you you always want to study and stay in your analytics to determine exactly what your audience is enjoying okay the thing about your audience once you have um, an established once you start gaining your audience just keep in mind that everybody isn't for everybody, but it's everyone for somebody. Now, when I say that, listen to what I'm saying here. When I say that, if you are over the top and naturally extra, then people are going to like you because you're over the top and you're naturally funny. People are going to gravitate to you because that's what you present on camera. If you're quiet and you're reserved, then there is an audience for you as well, okay? Um, and if you're like kind of mediocre, you, you know, you got your high and your lows or what have you, then there will be an audience for you as well. So just keep in mind that everybody isn't going to like you. For you. For um, and, and that's okay. Um, there are several different types of people out here in this world and everybody isn't going to like you regardless of what you say, regardless of what you do, how you, how you look, how you talk, every, how you talk, everybody isn't going to like you, but it isn't going to like you, but just know that there will be an audience just for you. And because you want to have an audience just for you, that means you will always need to be authentic, be your Self. That's the next tip. Always be yourself. It's everybody else is taken, so you have no choice but to be yourself. And people will see through that. People will see through you that you're getting on camera trying to portray to be somebody. Else. And like you, you're basically doing these videos for 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 people all all over the world that don't even know you. You don't have to put on a facade to to for people to like you because you're acting like somebody if else. You just be you and be authentic, then people will like you for you and they will appreciate you better. All right, so the next tip I want to say is I consider YouTube being my my channel as being a creative space. This is my I enjoy doing YouTube, you guys. I enjoy doing YouTube because I it gets a chance it gives me a chance to really network and meet people all over the world okay I enjoy it because it's an outlet for me I'm a wife I'm a mother I'm a daughter I'm a friend in my real life you get what I'm saying so when I do YouTube YouTube is like an outlet for me and this is my creative space so when you are thinking about creating a channel make it your own be creative you never seen it before create there is no right way or wrong way to do YouTube you know, you see people doing the same videos over and over again, but because they're doing it just a little bit different is what makes it creative. So if we, we you, can, you can see 10 hair videos, 10 videos on how to cook banana pudding, but it's gonna always be that one particular thing that makes this video stand out versus the next video. So it's all about how you create your content. And like I said, there is no right or wrong way to be creative 
um, because that's what is that's what you're considered to be a content creator. You can't do it wrong. You can't do it right. It's only right or wrong unless you say so. so okay. It's just that's just it. That's just the bottom line. Um, another thing I want to say is be intentional. So if you like, say for instance, so I'm a blogger. I, I'm I, I like to vlog. I do do some sit down videos. I do a lot of cooking videos or what have you. But when I'm vlogging, I know, okay, today I get up in the morning, I'm going to think, I know I'm going to do a video I'm going to record. So being um, a content creator, you, sometimes you have to be intentional, meaning you might have to get up a little bit extra early to, to create some type of content, or it might take you a little bit extra time because you want to turn the camera on and get this type of footage. So therefore, you always want to kind of be intentional with your filming if that makes sense another tip that i want to bring you guys and i'll and y'all forgive me i might be like all over the place but you know i'm just i got a few notes right here but i'm just kind of really going off the dome or what have you because i've been really thinking and jotting down some things and it's just i'm just going off the dome okay you guys so i might be all over the place and hope you guys are understanding where i'm coming from and what i'm saying um another thing i want to point out is be receptive to feedback now, it's the difference between being just a straight negative Nancy and the trolls versus somebody really giving you constructive criticism because you always want to have an open mind about life. And that's not on here on the YouTube streets, but that's in life in general. You know, if you have somebody coming from a good place, some somebody's coming from a good ground and they're telling you something to kind of help you along the way, always be receptive of that. Don't ever be too high on your high horse where you can never, nobody can never tell you nothing. You know, don't ever be like that because you always have room to grow. Even though I'm a, I have a small channel, I'm always looking at YouTubers that have a larger subscriber count than me trying to look at how they transition their how they do their videos I keep up with how they edit their videos I keep up with how they schedule their videos how they you know do I, I I'm always trying to learn and look for better ways that will inspire me in ways that I can learn to make myself become a better content creator and not just a content creator but in life in general you know I like listening to people as they as they talk because you can always gain more knowledge when you just have an open mind about things. Once you change your mindset about things, then you 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 open yourself up to so much more, so much possibilities. And because things change, YouTube change, people change, the world is changing daily. So you constantly have to keep up with what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And like I always, uh, you know, say, if you don't keep up, you will get left behind. And that is a true saying. So therefore, if somebody's, you know, giving you some really constructive criticism and it's coming from good ground, and you can pretty much tell when it's coming from good ground or not, then be receptive to accepting that feedback. And take it and try to apply it to your YouTube channel and out here in life, period. Now, if you got a negative Nancy and you got a straight troll that just being downright disrespectful, they're just being ugly, they're just being a hater, then okay, you know how to do, you know how to test. If you don't know how to do the block, you better learn. Block game need to be on 100, okay? Because we have no tolerance for negative Nazis. We have no tolerance for the trolls. We have no tolerance for all the negative energy, okay? Negative vibes, not welcome here, okay? Can't sit here. Go back to the end of the line, okay? Just It's just simple as that. Have several seats at the end of the line, okay? Clip, clip. Put the block game on, okay? So, but overall, just be very receptive of feedback that people give you because it can be beneficial in some type of way if you, like I said, it's some good ground, okay? Now, as far as equipment, um, I started out YouTube just using a phone, okay? You always want to use your sort, your resources and use what you have. You do not have to go out and purchase the most expensive camera, okay? You don't have to go out and buy the most expensive phone because that's what everybody else is doing here on YouTube. Use what you have until you can get better. This right here, this, this right here, this phone, everybody has a phone. You can start off by recording videos on your phone. If you're going to be vlogging, if you're going to be out vlogging, Amazon has these selfie sticks right here. 
you can always get you a selfie stick and this is what the selfie stick looks like it's got a, a wristlet band a, a wristlet thing right here this is um, got a button right here where it's Bluetooth compatible as you guys can see that and then it, of course it comes out and then it, it stretches right here and you can just literally put your phone on it like so put it like that tilt it stretch it out and you're able to use your phone and do your videos okay um, always remember to look in the camera which is the camera is on this end right here a lot of times and I find myself doing it too sometimes whenever I'm vlogging on my camera or when I'm using my camera to record sometimes I look over here and you can tell like how I'm to watch my eyes I'm looking at the viewfinder now but if you look now I'm looking at the camera do you see the difference I'm looking at myself in the screen now but if I look at the camera, it looks totally different. It looks like I'm looking at you versus looking at me. Do you see the difference? Now I'm looking at myself because I'm looking at the viewfinder. But if I look at the camera, I'm looking at you. So always make sure that you try to kind of glimpse back and forth to make sure you're looking at the camera. Make sure you're looking at your audience because it gives more of a personal touch. You get what I'm saying? Versus looking over here because it look kind of retarded a little bit. But yeah, so always want to remember to find where the camera is on the phone. Now, the front camera is not necessarily um, as good as the back camera. The back camera always is a little bit better. Um, but for starting out, you can you can use the front camera. It, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't even matter. But if you want to use the back camera and look there, and you know you can do that as well totally fine always get you um, a tripod this tripod I got this from Amazon Every, all the equipment I'm getting ready to show you guys is at Amazon so this is a um, tripod that I purchased from Amazon I can't remember every I can't remember the price of it but I'll definitely leave it in the description box below um, and if you're not YouTube um, savvy as far as where if you look right under the subscribe button it's a little arrow and you click description or click that little button down there and everything will pop down and everything all of the information that I'm listing will be in that description box so just look right up under that subscription that red button that says subscribe look right under there click that little arrow and it should take you to the description box okay so that's whenever when you hear people saying description box that's what that means y'all stay with me I'm telling y'all this video was probably going to be lengthy but I'm telling you guys if you stick with me these are all the tips and the gems that I'm dropping on y'all okay you got the popcorn go ahead and get you a glass go ahead and sip your glass of wine get your little sip sip because we 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 in this okay we in this. so yeah so this is a, another tripod that I have and some tripods come with the holders where you can actually um put your piece right here and this is just a holder and this also adjusts as well and it can fit your phone comfortably so what you can do it has a piece right here and then also has one right here okay so you want to just snap it on or screw it on like that okay put your phone on it okay as you can see that and then you open it up sit it on the table and then there you have your whole setup sit it on the table you got your whole setup okay or whatever or, or whatever you sit it or whatever it is that you're sitting at you can use that now another thing is if you don't have like a ring light or if you don't have box lights and if you're starting out I'm pretty sure you probably don't have all this stuff you always want to put get in front of a window you always want to go against the window okay you don't want to go with the Sun you always want to go against it so you always want to put it's like right now I'm gonna show you guys so right now I'm going to show you so as you guys can see this is the window right here and if you look right here 
I've got the back of the phone towards the window. So okay? you always want to face against the window. Um, and also, because you might not have the proper lighting, you always want to try to record during the daytime when you have the sun. Natural lighting is always the best lighting to me and and that's what a lot of youtubers say and that is the truth natural lighting is everything it's better it's just it's just very it's just better um but if your life allow if your life and your, the, the lifestyle that you have and it doesn't allow you to record in the daytime you can always purchase you a ring light i'll leave a ring light the one that i have i'll leave that in the description box as well and this and I'm going to show you what my ring light looks like. So this is what a ring light looks like. It has a piece right here. And this is the same piece that I just showed you that I hooked on to my tripod. And you can actually put your camera right here or you can put your phone in here. But this is what the ring light looks like, okay? You know, lighting is everything. So, you know, just starting out, you don't have to purchase the box lights. You don't have to have the ring light. If you just got a window, that would be perfect lighting for you, okay? Um, this is my first camera that I started out with. This is a Sony. I don't even know what kind of Sony this is, but this is a Sony. Uh, a Sony. I'll try to find one similar to this, and I'll leave it in the description box below for you guys. But this is my first camera that my husband purchased for me. Um, but this is a Sony. This is what I used before I used my new camera. And it has a flip up screen as you guys can see. And this is what the camera looks like. And it's a very inexpensive camera. However, you know, so over time you will want to invest in yourself. So don't be afraid to invest in yourself, you know. Um, but starting out, you can always use your phone. Once you once you get to the point where you got a couple extra hundred dollars and you know you just want to start buying more equipment, then get you a nice camera. I mean, this isn't this one is is nothing wrong with this camera. I just wanted something a little bit different. Um, and that's uh, this is another tripod that I use. Y'all, I got several tripods around here. Once you become uh, more acclimated with the whole YouTube world and the YouTube scene and getting more equipment and stuff You'll find yourself buying all kind of equipment all the time. It's just it's just something that I like to do I like equipment. I like electronics and stuff like that Ask them how to use it all. I don't know how to use it all, but I just like buying it But this is another tripod that I like Purchase this from Amazon or either Amazon or Best Buy, but I'll try to find one but it has the same screw piece this is one that adjusts and it does go longer. Okay, and you can use that one as well. And then, of course, you guys know that my husband recently purchased the new camera. Now, this one is a this one is really an investment for me. Um, the quality of this is amazing, and I normally use this when I'm out and about. Um, I don't like using this one for my sit down videos per se because it's just it's just easier to use my phone when I'm sitting doing my sit down videos versus when I'm out and about. But I use both. I use my phone and my and this camera. But this camera is the Sony ZV1. Um, this camera. But I'll insert a clip as to what the the tripod that's compatible to this one. Um, and this is the newest addition to the family. And as you guys can see that it has the flippable camera or the flippable screen or what have you. So I can use this when I'm recording. Um, this is a the newest tripod, the newest tripod that I purchased. This one, I purchased this from Amazon. It's really short. As you guys can see, it's very short like this, but it does extend out. And if I'm out vlogging, I can just hold it like this, as you guys can see. It has a nice grip right here, and I hold it right here. And then if I want to stand it up, it has the three legs right here. So I can hold it, and I can sit it on the table, and I can hold it like this, okay? 
the other one I like using this one a little bit more when I'm out and about versus using the one that I purchased with this one because this one extends out the other one does not extend out so that's the only reason why I use this one a little bit more but like I said don't be afraid to invest in yourself but starting out you don't have to have all this equipment this high dollar equipment and keep in mind I've been doing YouTube for about three years now and I just I just got this high dollar um camera earlier this year was it this year or last year recently let's just put like that recently so you don't have to go out and purchase the most expensive camera basically what it all boils down to is using your phone and use what you got and another quick tip that i want to bring out to you when you're vlogging or when you're recording on your phone you always want to hold the phone like horizontal not vertical when you hold it horizontal like this, it takes up the entire screen versus holding it like this. If you hold it like this, then you have the black part. You'll see the black on each side of the screen. And I'll show like a clip over here what it looks like when you're when you're holding the phone vertical versus holding it horizontal. Okay? So you always want to hold the phone this way, not this way. All right, and the, I think this is probably going to be the final tip you guys for today's video is when you look at when you think about doing a YouTube channel also you want to consider YouTube channel being a business okay when you see ads running on my videos that's how I get paid and that's how you can get paid by companies advertisers running ads on your channel okay I can do another video on going into details as far as how that works but in order for you to become a partner with YouTube and in order for you to get monetized meaning how you get money how you start to accrue money on your channel being monetized is you become a partner with YouTube or you become a partner with Google shall I say um, you know, like I said before, YouTube is owned by Google. But in order for you to get monetized, in order for you to get money, you will have to have a thousand subscribers and you will have to have 4,000 watch hours. Now, that is um, a bit whenever you're just starting out. But however, if you're consistent, you're authentic, you get quality content, you're very creative, and you be you. You, it will take you no time to get to those a thousand subscribers and it will take you no time to get to those 4,000 watch hours once you have those 4,000 watch hours and you have your thousand subscribers you can then apply for you to uh, get a pin um, you'll get a pin number you will get activated and that makes you become a YouTube partner so and then that means they'll be able to run ads on your videos and whenever you guys see videos whenever you guys look at my channel you look at my videos and you see those ads running that means ads are running and it means that advertisers and companies are advertising and I get a portion of that now and it ain't a lot don't don't think don't get me wrong it ain't a lot however it still adds up okay and like I said I am considered to be a small youtuber but because my YouTube count is small shall I say that does not that does not make me any less than a person who has a million subscribers or a hundred thousand subscribers or thirty thousand subscribers or fifty thousand subscribers that don't make them no better than me and that don't make me no better than them okay because it's just youtube world this is just the youtube world that does not make us famous honey because you got a little bit more subscribers than me that only makes you youtube famous okay so i'm just keeping it real straight like that no chaser okay keep that in mind keep that same mentality so just because a person has more youtube subscribers does not mean that they're any better than you because you're you're just as important as they are we just in these youtube streets and that's just how it is okay um don't start for the money because you'll be upset if you start out looking for the money right away eventually it will come YouTube is changing people's lives daily. It's going to change my life, okay? And I'm going to put that in the atmosphere because that is, I'm going to manifest that. YouTube will change my life and my family's life. It hasn't yet, okay? Okay, we, we still got, we still working over here, okay? But 
YouTube has changed others' lives tremendously, and it can definitely change your life, okay? So I hope this information was very vital. If you have any other questions that I might have missed, then spam the comments down below. Leave all your questions down below. If you are a fellow YouTuber and it's something that you want to also share with the people who actually requested this video, leave it in the comments, you guys. Let's, we are a community here. We're all about striving and making this money, doing better for ourselves, elevating to, ne uh, to level to level from glory to glory. You get what I'm saying? And it's enough light out here for all of us to shine. It's enough money for all of us to make it out here in these YouTube streets. It's enough money for all of us to, to really make it and eat, eat good. You get what I'm saying? So if there's anything in there that you feel that um, I didn't cover, and if you're a current, if you're a fellow fellow YouTuber and you want to add in there, go ahead and leave in the comments. Spam the comments, you guys. And like I said, I'm pretty sure this was a quite lengthy video. But this was a highly requested video. I know you guys, a, a few of you guys have hit me up and asked me how to start a YouTube channel. And these are just some tips that I've actually um, jotted down. These are some uh, things that I've had to endure. And oh, the, all, the, the, oh, I'm sorry. This is one other thing. I'm thank you, Jesus, for giving this to me. Also, I want you to remember, remember to have tunnel vision. You cannot look at what the next person is doing because you will get sidetracked. Get yourself upset in a ball, you will want to quit, okay? Do not pay attention to what the next man is doing. Do not get pay attention to what the next person is doing because everybody has their own journey. And if you have tunnel vision, you can't see nothing but straight ahead. You can't see nobody else to your right. You can't see nobody else to your left. Only thing you are focused on, you are focused on, are your goals. Because their journey is their journey, and their journey is their journey, and your journey is what? Your journey. All right? Straight like that. No chaser. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I feel like I said, I know it was long and lengthy, but hey, it was well worth it. And if you have any questions, comment down below. Spam the comments. If you feel like this video was very helpful, then share the video. Share the video. I'm trying to get my numbers up, y'all. The only thing I got to do is ask. So I'm asking y'all, share the video. I mean, what you gonna do? If you ain't, if you ain't subscribed to the channel, then what you waiting on, girl? It's free. It don't cost you nothing. Subscribe to the channel, girl, because we, <coughs> you know, we lovely. We lovely over here. Y'all like my aunt shirt, aunt lovely shirt. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen this already. But anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all make sure you keep looking good. Make sure you keep smelling good, you guys. And then I'll see y'all on my next video. And y'all let me know if y'all want to see part two. Bye!